Have you ever looked into a mirror and pulled the skin back and thought, wow, that looks better? Well, let's see if I can get rid of these jowls here. Hi, I'm Glory B, and this is Glory B TV, a lifestyle channel for mature women who want to look fabulous, feel amazing, and age gracefully. And I want to look fabulous. I don't know about you, but um, I, I don't like how this looks on me, no. So I don't have plastic surgery plan. I probably like to get fillers, but all of that is expensive. So I've been watching some women trying this Art Harding's Instant Facelift and Neck Lift. And we're gonna do the facelift today. I might try the neck lift in this video. Um, I did try the facelift on another day and I'm glad that I tried it without just doing a video on it because it's a little tricky. So let's get started trying this out. I'll have links to this below the video in the description box. If you don't know how to get to the details of the description box, if you're watching on a phone, there's a tiny little triangle that's gray and you need to touch it or tap it with your finger and that will open up the description box. If you're watching on a computer below the video, you'll see some text and you'll see the words show more. Click show more with your mouse and that will open the description box. Now inside of this, there are a couple elastic type bands. There is an instruction booklet, which is somewhat helpful. The, the pictures aren't all that bright, but they are helpful for a step-by-step. -step. Now, um, they also have other little tapes that come with it. So this is not a one-time use. You can use this multiple times and hopefully you can even buy more tapes. Um, actually, they have two little packages of them. And then for the, for the part that lifts the jowls, you're going to put this behind your head and the little tapes are going to be attached to these ends. It actually came with one tape on each, but after you use it up, then you have to pull one out of the little bag and put one on. And then you can get them either in brown or you can get it in a lighter color. I went for brown because I really am a brunette and I have dark roots. And this goes behind your head and then there's a little clip. Now, let me see if I can get my video to zoom in on this. It's trying to zoom in on my face, but you put these behind your head and you clip it and that holds it in place under your hair. Now, of course, that begs the question, it's best to do this if you have thick hair and if you have longer hair. I don't think it's going to work with short hair. Now, I want to show you the back of my hair because I have layered hair so it's a little harder and I don't have thick hair but it did work so let me um, turn around and I want to show you how my hair looks in the back I'm sitting in a chair and of course I don't have eyes behind my head so I'm not sure what you can see but you'll see this top layer only comes to here it's better if your hair is one length but what you're going to have to do is pull your hair up. And I used a rat tail comb and found this to be easiest. But of course, I need a mirror. And I, what I'm going to do is pull the hair up. Now, some people online will show you doing this. Um, I, need, I need two mirrors to see what I'm doing. It feels okay, but then when I look at it, it doesn't look right. And the thing is, it has to come up to the crown of your head up here on the back. It won't work going straight back. And depending on the shape of your head will determine how well this works as well. I have a very flat head on top. I was one of those girls who could walk with a book on my head. Flat head. So if you have a head that's not as flat as mine, I think it's going to be easier. So let's see how we're gonna do this. Um, I'm gonna start by pulling out one of these. And now I have one of these, but actually they're perforated, so I'm going to pull them apart because you need one for each little clip. And now on the end of this, there's a tiny little hole 
on this plasticky end and you're going to poke the little metal piece through and then flatten it and do the same with the other one. Poke the little metal thing through. All right. Okay. All right. Now I'm ready to put my hair up and I have a couple mirrors with me here off camera and you want to go um, I'm going to end up putting the tape right here after I clean off my face, but you want to go up. So make sure that you take that up. It would also help to have a second person, and then you're going to clip your hair. All right, now I put a clip in my hair up here to just clip all that hair out of the way. And then I need to clean my face around this edge because I have makeup on with alcohol. Now I keep rubbing alcohol in a little spray bottle. I'm just going to spray a cotton pad and clean that off. Oh great, my bangs in the way of course because you want it really clean. Now the thing about these tapes is they are very, very, very sticky and removing them later was something else. Do you remember being a child and having a band-aid on and your parent had to pull the band-aid off you and it hurt so bad, especially if it was on little hairs like on your forearm? That's what it was like. Even though I got my hair out of the way, little hair still got under that tape and oh, it really hurt coming off. But it means that they stay and I actually went outside and was out walking the dog with these on the other day. So I'm going to dry this off because I want it clean and dry. All right, so now I have one of these and um, let me see, how do I want to do this? Okay, I'm going to put, I'm going to put the shorter one on this side and I'm just going to pull off the backing and you don't want to touch the sticky part and I'm just going to put it oh, remember the little hairs and of course I'm going to be wearing my hair in front of my ear okay and it's just hanging here but I'm going to take this piece around the back of my ear and then this longer one I'm going to pull the backing off as well if I can find it And move the hair out of the way. I'm looking in a mirror. I'm putting it right here and doing this. So now I'm going to hold, well, off camera, I'm going to come back in a second, but I'm going to hold it in place really tightly for about 15 to 20 seconds. Now that I've held that in place for 15 to 20 seconds, I'm going to pull these up and you can see, well, I can feel it and I can see it in a mirror that I'm looking at. It's actually pulling all this jowly stuff away. So let me put these over my ears and I'm going to go along that. And again, it can't be too low and I'm connecting these little thingies. I turn around up here and now I'm going to take the clip off my hair and I had only done my hair part way. Usually I do a little back combing up here which I will do and I spray it and I haven't done that yet. So I just wanted to show you how it looks with hair that's fairly thin, but you have to wear it forward. So now here's the comparison. And when I smile, my jolly look goes away, but when I don't smile, that's when you can see it. Now this is tight and some of you might even get a headache from this, but 
for something temporary, um, maybe you're going to a wedding, maybe there are going to be some pictures. Um, when I did this the very first time over the weekend, I got a picture with my boyfriend who's a lot younger than I am, and I look younger than he does. Now let's show you the neck piece. So the neck piece is just this little tiny one, and again, you clean off the back of your neck, and you put the, st the stickers back, you know, one on one side and one on the other of your neck. So as long as I'm here, let's try it. I'm going to clip up my hair and use the alcohol again. And I'll clean a couple places back here. And I'll take another one to dry it off because I don't want to wait. And the same idea applies. You don't want to get you don't want to stick it on here, and um, again, I brought the brown. Um, if I had to do it again, I'd probably get this one in the lighter color just because it's on skin. But the idea being, I'm going to take the little papery things off and then stretch it a little bit. Put one side on one, stretch the other one off, and it's supposed to pull the neck back. I think I have worse gels than neck stuff going on, but let's try it. So I'm going to peel off a backing. <laughs> I don't know, this just feels so goofy. I just don't want the little brown band to be able to be seen. And then without looking, this is where a second person could be very, very helpful. I'm going to pull the paper off, lift up my hair, oh, it's already sticking to hair. I don't know, it might, my, my neck might be too small for this. Ow, 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 ow. And then hold it in place for about 15 or 20 seconds. All right, and then take down my hair. The neck one isn't as tight feeling as the head one, but if you've got a neck thing going on, I think the neck ones could be very helpful. Now let me turn around so you can see my hair. Of course, I haven't redone my hair, which I, I want to finish it, and that way I can make sure in a mirror in the bathroom, at a double mirror, that nothing's showing. But let me turn around for a second and let's see what you can see. Okay, so the, the plastic thing is up here. Like I said, I don't have thick hair, so I need to work on this hair before I would go out in public. So that's it. I think you should give this a try. It's fairly reasonably priced, and you can decide if you want the brown or the blonde. Check out one of my other anti-aging videos by clicking its image on the right side of the screen, and I'll see you in the next video.